In the problems below, we use the z-table to find the indicated probabilities. So we have five little probability problems that we want to use um, to help learn the z-table. These five problems cover the five unique cases that you can encounter when trying to find probability using this z-table. If you master all five of these problems, then you know how to use this table to find probability inside and out. Okay, so we're going to do them one by one. For each one, I'm going to um, use a sheet of paper and show how they're worked out. Okay, so let's start with this first one here. It's the probability that z is between, and the way they write between is to put a z and follow it by, or surrounded by two less than symbols. And so the probability that z is between 0 and 1.16. Okay, so if I want to figure out that probability, what I want to do is recognize the fact that this is z, indicating a standard normal distribution. So I should draw a bell curve as a visual aid. And from there, I should have a z number line where the problem is really taking place. Because the real action is happening on the number line. What we're basically asking is the probability that you randomly select a z value that is somewhere between 0 on the number line and 1.16 on the number line. So we're looking for the probability that your z value somewhere between these two points. Now on the curve, the reason why we use this as a visual, visual aid is because we could shade the desired area then. So that probability is equivalent to the area under the curve, and the area under the curve here would be the area between 0 and 1.16. Now this is the steps that we do. We have the statement, we draw a picture that illustrates what we're looking for, and then we shade the desired region on this curve. Once we've done that, it's time to go to the table and find the area. So we're going to go to the table now and look up this z-score, because the way the table works is when we look up a z-score on the table, we'll get the area from that z-score to the center of the curve. That's how our particular table works. You'll see this by this little drawing here. You notice there's a little shading here, and there's a little tiny z listed there, and they're saying that the area that you get when you look up that z-score on your table is going to be the area from that score to the center, or where zero is located. So this is the area we will get. It turns out that's exactly the area we want in the problem, that's what we shaded. So this, by looking up 1.16, we will get the area we need to solve this problem, and that's all we have to do. So this is like the most basic example of using the z-table to find probability. Okay, so now we're going to go to the table and look at what 1.16 gives us. Okay, so let's remember how the table reads. When you look at this little image, it tells us that the z-score we look up um, will give us the area from that z-score to the center, where zero is. Okay, so that's how this table reads. Now, make sure you have a pencil and paper available to write down the value we get from the table. In this problem, we're asked to look up 1.16. So I'm going to try to find 1.1 on the leftmost column. So there I see my 1.1 on the leftmost column, and I'm going to come over then across the top row here to see where the 6 is. And there's my 6. So 1.1, 6, right? 1.1, and then over here to where we see the 6, and we get the answer 0 0.3770. So remember, your z-score has three numbers in it, right? It has a number in the ones place, and then the tenths place, and then it has a number in the hundredths place. You find the hundredths place digit up here across the top. So, and the first two digits, the ones and the tenths place, can be found here in the leftmost column. So 1.16, right? 1.16. Another way to do it is to look up the 1.1, and you can count over to get to 6, but remember it starts at 0, so it'll be 1.10, 1.11, 1.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And that's how you'd get to the 1.16. Anyway, the answer is 0 0.3770. Okay, so now we see from the table that the answer is 0 0.3770. This is the area we get when we look up 1.16, 3770. And remember, that's the same as 37.70%. So that's the solution for our first problem of the five.